Hello, hi everybody, and welcome to yoga, uh, energy balanced yoga with me, Marina White Raven. Welcome everybody. Um, so welcome, yes, to the new week, to Monday, um, if you're watching live, of course. And I thought today with this energy balanced um, session that I would, or we would look at change, managing change. That's um, something that is always on the cards and particularly at the time, at the current time. So um, yeah, and I, I was thinking about uh, any kind of quotes on this. And I just was thinking myself of that our only security is, you know, we were always looking for some, maybe some security, something to hold on to, something to feel is real or uh, supportive. And our only security really is our ability to change. And that includes, you know, our ability to be flexible and responsive um, and also resilient. And yoga gives us all of this. So, yeah, we're here now. And that is the sound of the bell to mark the beginning of the practice. We're going to start seated today. Hope that's all good for you. Right. Okay. So find yourself a comfortable seat on the ground. Cross-legged is really good. So if you need to sit on a cushion, please do. And we're going to begin just by putting the hands on the knees or in the lap, whatever feels more comfortable. But make sure you're sitting up nice and tall. Always important to have the spine upright and open. Energy can flow much better. And also think about the head being back on the body. If you're very used to doing this, this is not comfortable. So you have to get used to it feeling a little bit uncomfortable to begin with, but over time, the body gets used to being more upright. So sitting in a lovely upright spine, think about lifting the uh, sternum, the centre of the chest, opening the heart there. And we're going to close the eyes. So just check in with yourself a moment. Take a deep breath in through the nostrils and just have a sigh <sighs> out through the mouth. Do a couple of those. Breathe in through the nostrils and sigh out through the mouth. Often takes a few of these to just arrive here, present. You might start to feel your body again. You might be able to feel the ground beneath your body. You might feel the points in the body that are making contact with the floor. Just give yourself time to feel all these things. Come into the feeling, sensational body, breath. And notice the thoughts, notice the mind. I will do my best to remind us, myself and yourself, uh, throughout the practice to stay present um, and the best way to do that is to connect with the breath to feel that anchoring presence of the breath so take another breath in through the nostrils and sigh out through the mouth yeah, have the eyes either softly closed or just soften the focus you're looking down slightly maybe just so you're not you know looking with very strong vision it's more of an internal gaze slightly and we'll just chant the mantra on three times. So really let your sound out. Don't worry if you're starting before me on the next on. Um, you can do more if you more than three if you wanted to. Take a deep breath in through the nostrils. Let your sound out. Ah. Deep breath in again. One more deep breath in. Oh. And breathe in and out through the nostrils now. Notice how you feel. Any shifts or feeling of a different feeling of energy when we literally vibrate, the sound is a vibration, so we vibrate the body. And then we're just going to connect or repattern the energy by putting the right hand on the left shoulder and sweeping it down to the right hip. And up, good, so nice, really, uh, even looking and watching, this really helps to keep that connection to and through. Left hand on the 
Right shoulder, just hold on to that shoulder lightly. And then sweeping down to the left hip. One, reconnecting, repatterning. Good. And then you can get a bit stuck and, a little, and forget the natural flow. And after you've done this, you're going to lift the shoulders up, breathing in. Hold the breath in, squeeze the shoulders up by the ears and then out through the mouth. <sighs> yeah, really. Breathing in, squeeze the shoulders up. Out through the mouth, release. <sighs> drop them down. And again, breathing in. And drop those shoulders down. <sighs> Good. Interlink the fingers now. Let's just stretch the arms up. See how that feels. If a little yawn starts coming in, let it go, let it go. But make it really emphasize it. Now I've said yawn, you're probably going to yawn. Don't worry. Don't try and hide it. Make it really like, Ugh! make it really dramatic if you want to. And give it some sound. Otherwise, just pushing the hands up. Try to keep the shoulders down by the ears. Create space between the ears and the shoulders. But extend up through the elbows. Lifting the chest. Lengthening through the waist. Keep that chin tucked in slightly so the back of the neck is wrong. And, uh, wrong. <laughs> long. And breathe deeply. Breathe in. Feel your body with air. Yeah. Expand your wings. Feel your back body expand. Ribs expand. Breathe out. Long and slow. One more breath in. Push the hands up, and then as you breathe out, the hands are coming out to the side, the fingers are wide, the hands are coming down towards the floor. Let that left hand land on the floor. Nice bend the elbow, maybe the fingers pointing forward, so it makes it more comfortable for the side of the body. And then open up the side of the body, so breathing in, extend that right arm up, extend to the ceiling, look up at that right hand, and then reaching over the body. Bending into the left elbow, keep the sitting bones down if you can. But try and look on the inside of the arm up to the ceiling. Relax that left shoulder a little bit. Give lots of space for the neck. Keep the neck nice and long. We're not letting the neck fall. We're keeping that integrity in the spine and the neck. Breathe deeply. Feel the lengthening happening again in the right side of the body, in the right waist. Breathe deeply. Use the inhale to lift up. Exhale to turn the palm and the palm comes down to the ground. Watch that hand. Fingers pointing forwards. Palm on the ground, hold the palm, and on the inhale, lift that left arm up. Watch it as it goes up with your eyes and reaching over the body on the exhale, reaching right over into the fingertips. Keep the sitting bones both down, don't let the hip lift up. And bending into that right elbow. Lots of length happening in the left side of the body. Feel the length in the left waist. Yeah, lots of space in the neck. Keep the ear We'll keep the shoulder away from the ear. Breathe deeply. Whatever you do, breathe deeply. In and out through the nostrils. Use the inhale to lift up. Lift the fingertips up. Turn the palm. And as you breathe out, bring that hand back down. Good. Interlink the fingers in front of the body. We're just going to open up this whole, whole chest cavity. Lots of space to be found. Breathing in. Interlink the fingers. Breathing out. Take the hands forward. Drop the head down. Opening between the shoulder blades. Yeah, open. Create space. Relax the neck down. So you're looking down towards your heels and your feet. Looking down towards the ground. And feel your wings expand, opening between the shoulder blades. Breathe in through the nostrils. As you breathe out, you take the hands forward. You pull the middle of the back, back away from the hands. Eh? So you're making the space between the hands and the chest as big as possible. Using your breath, utilising your breath. Inhaling one more time. And release the hands on the out breath. How does that feel? Yeah, it feels like I really want to open this, this side of the body now because I've opened the back. So let's even it up. Interlink the fingers behind the body now. Keep the neck nice and long. So to do that, you need to be probably looking towards the ground rather than lifting the chin. So breathing in. As you breathe in, take the chest forward, take the shoulders back. Fill the chest with air. And as you breathe out, just feel that the hands are Pulling back, away from your back, and maybe even going slightly upwards, but keep the neck nice and long, dropping the head down, looking down towards the heels still. On the inhale, open up the chest, fill the chest with air around that heart. And as you breathe out, just re relaxing the arms down, relaxing the shoulders, let the arms just hang down to the sides. Put the hands on the knees and just take a moment there. Now put the right hand on the left knee, crossing over the body. Take the left hand behind you, onto the fingers there, close behind you, so not leaning back. So get the, that arm, the inside of the forearm in connection with the lower back of the chest. Breathing in, lift from the chest. Long bend, extend, 
as you breathe out, your rib, ribs, left ribs are coming around to your left, the left shoulder is going around to your left, turning behind you, and finally your eyes are looking around, creating a twist in the neck there, looking right behind you, keep dropping those shoulders down, long neck, lift the chest, strong belly, strong lower back, support your back with your forearm there, and smile, why not? Take the strain out. If you smile, you're not going to be forcing, you're not going to be pushing. Yeah, as you inhale, smile. Yeah, bring some good feeling into the body. Breathing in, and as you breathe out, untwist to the front. How does that feel? Feel a bit of a shuffle around. Take the shoulders, roll them around. Ah, yeah, I feel a little bit more open. So we can explore more. Put the left hand on the right knee, take the right fingers behind you. Breathing in, lift the sternum. Yeah. Lengthen body as you breathe out, feel the right belly coming around to the right. As you inhale, lift the sternum. As you breathe out, the right shoulders coming around to the right. Finally, your eyes, your nose, and your face is twisting and turning to the back of the room or back behind you. Keep the shoulders down away from your ears, keep lifting the chest. You've got this dynamic going on shoulders down, lift chest. So it's really opening front of the shoulder and across the chest, which will become uh, less flexible and uh, that muscle will be shorter for more of, um, you know, we're on screens or driving and doing the uh, usual things that we do. So we need to counteract that. In breath, one more time, lift the chest and as you breathe out, untwist to the front. Good, yeah. How do we feel with the shoulders? Okay, let's, uh, let's bring the hands to the heart center. We'll explore a little bit. Mouth open that chest cavity. Let's get a bit deeper into the center of that chest. And let's see how the heart feels a little bit. We're going to do quite a bit of stuff around the chest and the heart. So hands together. Maybe the thumbs are gently pressing the heart center. Breathing in. Open the palms up. Open the chest wide. Look up. Open the front of the throat. And as you breathe out, you're coming back to your hands. And you can just drop your head to look down at the fingertips. So we're really opening. Breathe in. Take the fingertips right back. Open the chest look up and as you breathe out you can bring the hands back to the heart center drop your head so we're getting a bit of work happening in the neck now but really mindful and combined with that breath move in time with your breath that's the key you may be a bit faster or slower than me and that's absolutely fine breathing in open open breathing out hands come forward and then you're going to come back to the heart center face comes down to the fingertips so yeah, I feel that liberation happening in the neck slightly, front of the throat, this expressive, receptive part of the body, the throat chakra, responsible for that self-expression and also receiving the information. One more, breathing in, open. Lift and open the heart, open the front of the throat. Enjoy that expansive, beautiful, open heart and bring the hands back. Notice how that feels, how it feels for you to open the heart. Does that feel this small? You just want to remove the obstacles and to open the throat. Let's extend the legs out for a moment. Yeah, enjoy just rolling the feet around a little bit. So just rolling the legs a little bit, just get the, the legs a bit more ready. If you want, you can sit up on the cushion or you can just reposition yourself coming up on the fingertips. Toes towards the ceiling. Okay. So let's stir the porridge up. Let's stir some of this energy up. Um, a lot of our energy base of the spine, you know, this is where the uh, dormant prana is situated, represented by the coiled snake. Okay, so we're going to wake up that, that dormant energy. Breathing in, lift the uh, chest. Breathing out, you're going to lean forward. Keep the back upright. Keep the head on top of the body. Lean it forward, not bending. And as you breathe in, you're going to come backwards. So you're holding the knees to support yourself. And you're taking the body around. Breathing in as you lean back as far as you can. Breathing out, you're leaning forwards, but keeping that integrity of the spine, from the base of the spine to the top of the head, and staying upright, but also as long as you can make that. So in breath, feel that lift in the sternum, the shoulders are dropping down. Yeah, let's see if we can make that big, big. When we're stirring the porridge, we need to get right around to the very edges. Yeah. Okay, coming back to the center. If you want to uh, take that, if you want to go a bit further with that, Rather than holding the knees, if you want to, you can, you know, hold on to your spoon if you like. So you can take the hands forwards and ex 
extend them forwards and come back. <sighs> Breathing out as you lean forwards. But you must keep that back up right. Don't bend into that. Inhaling and exhaling. If you feel like this is useful to you, otherwise just keep the hands on the knees. Good. Breathing out. Coming back to centre. And with the hands just there and the knees, just bounce the knees up and down a little bit. Let's come into our line. So we've stirred up a lot of energy. Let's see if we can give it some release. Breathing in, bring the hands to the heart centre. And breathing out. <sighs> so the fingers come out very strongly, like claws, like they want to tap like a lion. Pung comes out the mouth. Pung is like wanting to reach the floor, eyes wide, wanting to reach the ceiling. Ready? Okay, breathe in. <sighs> Don't forget this rasping sound which comes with the <sighs> sound. So we really need to make that dominant. Breathing in. <sighs> Good. Be fierce. Don't be afraid to be fierce. Let that energy out. Express it. Breathe in. <sighs> Good. Fiery energy. So it's fiery. Fiery times. Now we're going to come on to all fours for a moment. So find your way to all fours. For a little bit of a cat. So knees are underneath the hips, there's space between the knees. Hands are underneath the shoulders, uh, there's space between the hands there. And fingers are really glued to the ground in the palms of the hands until we lift. So we lift the right hand and the left leg. Try and make a lovely long line from fingertip to toe. Look up and breathing out, bring the hand and knee down. Inhaling, lengthen from the fingertip to the toe, breathe in. Fill the body with air, breathing out, bring the hand and the knee down, look down to the ground. Breathing in, extend. Breathing out, drop. So it's extending and softening. In and out through the nostrils with the breath. So think about this extending, it's really the central part of this is your spine. So you're inhaling, extending, look forwards as well. And then also changing your point of view, bringing the eyes towards the ground as you breathe out. Try and keep that elbow soft. So there's a temptation to want to lock the elbow when you come into the position. Soften it. So you're using your arm, you're using the strength in the arm, you're using the muscles rather than the lock. And in that way, we also develop a bit more balance. Because you might feel a bit more wobbly. In that way, you're going to create a bit more balance. Wobbling is learning balance. Breathing in, one more each side. Inhaling, exhaling, change your point of view. Inhaling, one more time. Extend and breathing out, coming down. Let's sit back into the heels for a moment. Extend the arms forward, bring them forward to the ground. In the pose of the swan. So in this pose of the swan, you think about your wings opening. So these wings from the fingertips around to the back. Opening your wings. Bring the forehead to the ground, breathing in. Fill those wings with air, breathing out <sighs> through the mouth. Release all the air from your body. Can you empty out fully? Can you really empty? <sighs> Can you trust that when you breathe out and empty everything out, that there'll be a brand new in-breath to follow? Always. <sighs> Good. So let's just come forwards and back there, breathing in, come up to all fours, breathing out, taking the hips forward, opening the chest, shoulders back, shoulders down away from the ears, breathing in, lifting up, breathing out. So we're moving, moving and breathing, feeling the movement of the energy, feeling the energy in the body, feeling any sense of locking, blocking, any tiredness, and just allowing yourself to experience all those feelings and senses. Keeping your focus, your central focus on the breath. The breath is the central point, it's the anchor that everything else is relating to. Yeah, open the chest. So we're really thinking about that heart space, the whole of the chest and the back and the shoulders getting open. When we open, we can really engage with this space. Energy can move. Yeah, it really is. In some ways, it's one of our centers of our body, that is our heart. Sitting back onto the heels once more, just take a rest there, breathe in deeply, open the wings. And breathing out through the mouth. <sighs> Good. Come back to all fours. So bring the hands back underneath the shoulders. You can do these little kicks. These might be good little energy boosters. I like these little side kicks. So you're going to be on your left knee, 
if that's difficult being on your knee, you know, because it's painful, just roll the mat up lots of times or put a folded blanket underneath it. So we're doing sort of side kicks. You're gonna as if you're <laughs> as if you're a dog um, having a little wee, you're gonna lift that right knee and the kick is gonna come from the or it's, it's the, the kick is with the toes are coming forwards. So these little side kicks, but breathe, do it with the breath. So breathing in, fill the body with air, and then it's out through the mouth. Okay, breathe in. And you could do this every single breath if you want to, or you can give a little break. We'll just do about three or four of these. Maybe a couple more now. Another one there. Switch knees, again pad that up if you need to. So I'm going to just lift that left knee out to the side and then there's a bit more space so I'm going to turn around the other way. <laughs> We're going to kick the, kick the screen in. So the same thing this side, keep those fingers spread wide, soft elbows. Lifting that left knee out to the side and the toe comes forwards. Breathe in, strong inhale, big strong out exhale through the mouth. Good. Okay, breathing in. Good. And one more. Pad that. Bring that knee down. And again, let's just sit back into the heels. Actually, what we'll do, we just uh, open the shoulder up a little bit. Put the right hand, back of the hand on the ground. We're still going to sit back into the heels, but we're going to add something in. Slide that hand away on the out breath. So sliding that right hand away on the ground. And then the ear is going to come down. And then you're going to just sit back into the heels there. So we've just got the right arm underneath the body, so we're, as well as sitting back into the heels, we're also opening up between the shoulder blades. And place your head where it feels comfortable. If you feel better with the forehead on the ground, otherwise on the side, there, it's okay too. And you can always rest your head on the back of the hand if it needs a bit more support. So you just bring the hand back underneath there. You can make a choice here. So this position, just breathe deeply. Sit deeply into the heels, breathe into the nostrils, breathe out long through the nostrils, empty out everything. Good. Let's come back on the in-breath, push into the left hand, come back, walk forwards. Now we're going to slip to the other side, so putting the back of the left hand on the ground, breathing in. On the out-breath, slide that hand away, so it's coming down to the side of the head, sitting back into the heels. So two things going on there. Again, you can rest the forehead on the ground if that feels better, or you can place that, you can swing that, sweep that hand back and rest on the hand or on the mat there, whatever you feel is better for you. But take some time to really feel into this posture. The passive posture, which means that you're, you know, you're, you're just relaxing into it. So feel the ground beneath you supporting you, feel the openness coming between the shoulder blades. Really ease forward. Now use the inhale to push up into the right hand, come back into the other hand. Sit back for a moment, a bit momentarily in the, in the heels, extend the arms forward. So we've got a good position for downward dog. We use the inhale to come up onto all fours. So we've got a good position, we're not on the tabletop, but further forward we can. Tuck the toes over under on the inhale, lift the knees off the ground on the exhale. Good, just see how the hamstrings are doing by walking the dog. So looking back towards the feet. Open the fingers wide, relax the, sh the elbows, keep the space between the shoulder blades. And we're just going to bend the right knee, push the left heel down, bend the left knee, push the right heel down. Let's just keep this nice and springy and moving. Keep the tummy tucked in. We're not breathing into the belly, we're breathing into the chest. Keeping the chest nice and open. Yeah, deep breaths. Good. Bring the heels down again. Now just walk the feet towards the hands, bend the knees, let the head hang, let the body hang, relax the head. In fact, just to loosen up the neck a little bit, let's just uh, move the neck. So as if you were saying no, just turning the head slowly, breathing into the nostrils, <sighs> sighing out through the mouth. Keep the knees bent, let the body hang. As you breathe in, feel the back body, feel space you're creating that's being created in your spine. So let the body be still again. Sigh out through the mouth one more time. Keep breathing in and out through the nostrils as you start to lift and feel the energy at the base of the spine. The Kundalini is lifting you up. 
the knees are bent, the arms are hanging forward, the energy is traveling up from the center of the body, lifting you up, bringing you up to standing. Enjoy your body. Let's give the legs a little shake. Good, we're standing. Good job. Let's just uh, have these little bounces just to shake everything up a little bit, wake everything up a bit. So the knees are nice and bent, the feet are about shoulder width apart, and we're just going to bounce the heels up and down the ground, let the arms be nice and springy, and just kick up a bit of energy from the earth as well by letting the heels bounce, letting the body just relax a little bit, and just shaking everything up. Good. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do a little cross crawl. So again, to re-pattern, to reconfigure the, the energy and also to re-pattern uh, the coordination between the body and the, and the brain. So lift the left knee, tap it with the right hand. Good. And we can do this as lively as you like. You can even make a little bit of a hop in there. If you're feeling like, yeah, I feel a bit lively. This uh, summer solstice has really wakened, wakened up my energy. And then we're going to extend the leg out, meeting it with the opposite hand. So just making contact with the toe, that's okay. Keep breathing them out. Don't hold your breath. Enjoy the movement. Yeah. Connecting up and waking everything up. Out to the side now with the left leg. Right arm comes over the head so it looks like this. Breathe deeply. Connect. Stay connected. Stay anchored to that breath. Yeah. Feel the body expand as you breathe in and out. Feel that expansion in the side of the body. And then we're just going to open the hips a little bit more. I like to bring my hands to my hips and then lift the knee up and open it to the side. And we'll just follow this. Also, we're getting a bit of balance in here by moving and shifting the weight from one foot to the other. Breathe. Keep that chest lifted. Keep the shoulders open. Opening and oiling the hip joints. Just give it some time become a bit more lubricated and open. Good. Get the feet apart. Let's come into a palm tree here. Extend the arms up. Fingers, fingers are extended, but they're above the head there. And on the out breath, we're going to lean over to the left. Think about these lovely branches, these lovely you know, these palm tree fronds breathing out the other side. So we're using the inhale to come up the center. You might find there's a bit more space every time you lean over, every time the palm tree bends. Inhale, lift up. Exhaling. As you lean to the right or the left, you're pushing to the foot on that side you're leaning to. It'll really help to keep you stable. It'll give you a sense of, of a foundation. Come up on the inhale now and lower the arms. The palms are going down towards the earth on the exhale. Get a bit more release, a bit more release, never enough, re enough release, and we'll do our half breaths. Almost the sensual part of the practice. Feet hip width apart, breathing in, lift the arms up, out through the mouth. <sighs> Knees are bent, so just let the arms swing heavily. And you can just let the arms swing afterwards a little bit. When you're ready for the next one, breathing in, look up, energizing the body, fresh new energy, <sighs> out with the old. In with the new, breathing in, fresh new energy, out with the old. <sighs> Empty, empty and dust out all those corners. Breathing in. <sighs> Breathing out. Let the arms swing. One more. Breathing in. And. <sighs> so now we're ready. Emptied out a little bit. Let's come to the front of the mat. For some standing postures. Bring the hands together. Feet hip width apart. Connect with the ground. Connect with your feet. Feel. How do you feel? How is your energy now? Always checking in. Put the weight onto the left foot, step back with the right. Right angles with the feet. Good. Keep the hips square to themselves and to the long edge of the mat. Breathe in, lift the arms up. Length in the body. Keep that length as the arms come down to the shoulder height. Breathing in, open the palms wide, chest is wide. Breathing out, reaching over to your left and down. Unlock the knees. So make connection with that left leg wherever that reaches and then reaching up away from that left hand with the right hand. Fingertips are going for the ceiling. They want to reach. Just want to just touch that ceiling. And then drop the right shoulder back behind you if you can, without dropping the elbow, of course. The elbow is extending up, but the shoulder sitting back. 
Good. So your chest is wanting to see the ceiling as well. Imagine your heart is wanting to look up at that hand. Unlock the knees. Wiggle the toes so you can feel your feet. Almost feeling, if you can, imagine the centre of the feet. The arches are lifting. Yeah. Good. Come up on the inhale. Bend into the left knee to soften that up. And exhaling to lower the arms down. Bend into the right knee and bring yourself back to the front foot. Take a moment to collect yourself. Put the weight onto the right foot and step back with the left. Same distance. Square the hips to the long edge of the mat in front of you. Breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest. Fingers facing, uh, palms facing forward. Breathing out, reaching over to the right and down. Make connection with the left, right leg. Reach up away from that right, uh, right leg. Your left arm is extending up to the ceiling. Fingertips are wanting to touch the ceiling. Lots of length in the left side of the body. Keep that left hip back in place. Strong point here, almost at the centre of this posture. Open the chest, drop the left shoulder back. Long in this arm, then let the elbow relax, keep it long. Use the inhale to come up, bend into the right knee. Inhale, exhale, lower the arm down. Bend into the left knee and bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Good work. Now step up again into a warrior posture, warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So let's put the foot, uh, weight onto the left foot and take a big step back with the right, or a couple of steps. Just uh, change the position of the back foot so it's more pointing more forwards towards that left foot. Square the hips though, breathing in, lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down to shoulder height. Breathing in, open the chest, fingertip to fingertip. Breathing out, lift down the left arm. As you breathe out, your knee is going to bend, left knee. It's going to hover over the left ankle. At the same time, you're pushing into the back foot. That's your anchor, as well as your breath. It's your anchoring leg. Anchored. Good. Beautiful uh, image is the anchor because it's not fixed. The anchor might be fixed, but if we think of ourselves as the boat, it can kind of move around, but it's anchored. It's kind of held there, held gently. So it's a beautiful image, thinking about the breath as your anchor, and it's always moving. Keep sinking that body down centrally, but not taking the body forward. So always a bit of pull back with that right arm slightly, so the body is upright. Good. Shoulders down, away from the ears, neck is long, look down on the left arm. Beyond the fingertips, you are a warrior. Come up on the inhale. Lower the arms on the exhale. Bend into that right knee, bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Just take a moment. Make the heels, put them down so you can feel that connection with the ground. Weight on the right foot, step back with the left, big step. Square the hips, breathing in, lift the arms up. Lengthen the body, bring the arms down to shoulder height, breathing in. Expand the chest, breathing out, bending into that right knee as that right knee comes forward. The same em emphasis is pushing into that back foot. So there's equal weight between the feet. See if you can feel that balance, that balance between the left and right foot. Feel the fingers are extending away from each other evenly. This body is at the center. The chest is lifting up, so everything is extending, expanding. Keep the arms really engaged. Don't let them hang. It's kind of not very interesting. Check the back arm and breathe. Keep lifting Back of the neck, so the crown is going up to the sky. Sinking down your groin to the floor. Come up on the inhale. Lower the arms on the exhale. Bending into the left knee. Bring yourself back to the front of the mat. Good. Let's come into a wide leg stance. We're going to come into a nice wide leg rag doll. So feet are parallel. Your knees are going to bend. Your head. The chin's going to come to your chest, feel the weight of your head, the arms are going to hang forwards. Heavy arms, heavy head, it's a wide leg ragdoll, let everything hang forward, enjoy the spine just getting a rest, and also the hips just getting some release there. Keep the knees bent the whole time. Breathe in through the nostrils, <sighs> fly out through the mouth. So we're just recovering a little bit the body. Good. 
So do you want to just move the staff a little bit side to side? You can either hold on to your elbows and swing a little bit side to side, or you can move yourself with the hands on the ground. Have a little rock there. Put your forearms on the ground, wherever you're at in that forward bend. So let's just see if we can walk the fingertips around to the left, maybe see how far around to the left we can reach, that feels okay. Keep breathing, keep with your anchor, your breath, notice how you feel, walk the hands across the mat, being always inquisitive, like where am I going, I'm looking and seeing what's here, what's over here, how's my breath, what's happening in my body, always remain curious and interested in what's happening. So we're now going to come up from the straight back. So first of all, come from the fingertips, look forwards. So uh, lift the chest, so your back is more upright. Now take your hands to your hips or waist. So lifting the elbows, strong back, strong legs, breathe out. Looking forward. Use the inhale to lift up and release the arms. Good. Let's just bring the feet together, either walking them or jumping them. So the legs really shake. So, what are we on now? We're going to um, come into a balance. A couple of balances, actually. We'll try a tree balance first. It's such a great balance, and I just love the imagery of the tree. So we're going to put the left foot on the ground, and we start by standing on the left foot. So you don't even need to take the right foot off the ground yet. Just start to get used to that. Take time with balance, because then it's really much more enjoyable. Find a point for your eyes to focus on, and notice your breath is moving softly and smoothly, in and out. So don't tense, don't hold your breath, just slowly feel your right foot is lifting up, floating up even. You might find that your foot sits nicely on the calf, or it might be the toes are on the ground and the foot is on the ankle. Or, if you're ready, then you can place your foot on the inside of the thigh. Whatever you're doing, that knee, right knee is going out to the side. So you're opening the hips here. To help that also, we lift the chest so this whole front of the body is open. Now let's, let's uh, finish off the posture by breathing in, lift the arms up. And breathing out, bring the arms down, and then returning back to the prayer position, the middle of the heart. So our elbows are raised, we're not flopping down to the side, these are active arms. So the chest is lifted, the palms are pressing together evenly. See if you can feel that evenness between the palms, and the chest is lifted, shoulders are back, chin is slightly tucked in, ungrip the toes. Long in the body, breathe. Breathing in and out. Standing tall. Feel the roots are going down from the sole of your foot so you are stable, upright. Use the inhale to lift the arms up. See if you can maintain the posture as you're moving and breathing, throwing the arms down on the exhale. Now see if we can just lift this knee. Finish. Give it a squeeze and then let it float down. And when it reaches the ground, give it a good shake. Give those legs a good shake. Let's give them a shake, and then we'll just give them a little bit of a, a jiggle. So we'll just keep the toe on the ground. It's just a slightly different loosening. Keep the toe on the ground, just loosen that thigh up a little bit. Yeah, feels good. Maybe just both of them at the same time. We're kind of just moving the knees. Yeah, let the thighs just loosen up. Now we're going to step onto the right foot. Plant the foot down, but without gripping. Open the foot instead. So it's counterintuitive. You know, feel like you want to grip. Do the opposite. Much more interesting. Focus your eyes. Breathe. Lifting the left knee off the ground. Lifting the left foot off the ground, and placing that thigh on the inside thigh. Of course, you have the other options on the calf or the ankle. Not on the knee. Not on the knee. Right. Not good for the knee. Press firmly the foot into the thigh. Press the thigh back. Breathing in. Lift the arms up. Breathing out, bring the arms down. And we're going to bring them back. Bring the hands together in the heart center. Lift the chest, shoulders back. Back of the neck is long, crown is lifting up to the heavens. The sole of the foot is sinking into the ground. So you get these two points moving away. Top of the head, the crown lifting up, base of the foot. But it's going beyond the body. So you're feeling that there's branches, there's leaves coming out the crown. Trees have a crown. Trees are very similar to humans' bodies. 
They're just moving a lot slower. So we can learn a lot by just being with them, sitting underneath them, looking at them, hugging them, pause. Breathe, pressing the palms together, breathe, lengthen, lift, and open the heart. Feel your breath, the support of the breath, anchor. Use the inhale to lift the arms up, exhale and lower the arms down. Now hold the knee, give it a squeeze, let that foot slowly sink down. And again, we're just going to move these legs like. Let's move the knees, so we're just shaking the legs up a little bit, giving them a bit of a reconfigure there. Another balance. So first of all, though, we're just going to do a little squat just to relieve those hips. So feet are a good distance apart, feet are going out at an angle. You might want to change that as you come down into the squats. Once you're in the squats, you might want to just change slightly. But the important thing is the knee and the toes are in the same line. So it's not, you know, it's not a precise angle, it's squats right feet. And let the body hang between the knees if you can, to get the body between the knees. And let the head hang, maybe have the hands on the ground, lean the weight forwards. If your heels are off the ground, put some padding underneath the heels. Cushions or a blanket, anything you've got there. Release the back of the neck, release the hips, breathe. In through the nostrils, expand, and then out through the mouth, release. Sigh. Lift up the head now, bring the hands together, and let's see if you can get the elbows on the inside of the knees. And then you might want to just press, not forcing, but just you might want to just have a little press the elbows into the insides of those knees, and the hands stay in the prayer position. Lifting the chest, so lengthen through the back. Good. So bring the hands to the ground, pushing into the hands, come into rag doll, so the knees are bent, let the body hang there, breathe in through the nostrils. Sigh out through the mouth, take your attention to the base of the spine, and we're just going to lift up through the spine, knees are bent, let the arms hang, let the head hang, we're breathing in and out the whole time until we slowly come standing, unwind, unravel, good, it feels good to stand, roll the shoulders, feel the energy returning to the body, good, yeah, let's just make little stars with the hands, sometimes the fingers need a little bit of reminding, we rotate the wrists, keep the rest of the body nice and soft, knees are, knees are soft, we rotate the wrists, yeah, watching the hands, do a little hand dance, good. So another balance, we're going to come into heron balance, so please use a chair if you find it difficult, or a wall, because we're going to be moving and breathing. So we're going to start off by lifting the left knee, and as you lift the left knee, so just get your weight onto the right foot, okay, as you lift the left knee, we're going to lift the arms up as well. So they start off, as you lift, start to lift, the hands come out to the side, the thumbs are coming out to the side and they come up. Inhaling, you lift the knee high, then you turn the palms, and as your palms come down on the exhale, your left leg is coming down and returning to the ground. And then switch legs, still the same movement, inhaling, you open the hands up, you lift the hands up, you lift the knee up, so it's inhaling and lifting, turn the hands, exhaling and lowering down. And you can follow this, you can do this with your own, own, own breath, if you have time. But see, feel that, be aware of that shift in energy as you change the weight from one foot to the other. Inhaling, exhaling, just matching the movement to your breath. You might be going to a different speed to me, breathing in. So it's like taking the thumbs out to the side, so it's opening. It's like, here I am. Inhale, hello day. Hello summer, here I am, matching it to the breath, inhaling, lifting the knee, high as you can, exhaling, lowering the arms down. And the arms are really active as well, and as well as lifting that knee, arms are extending up. This dynamic lift the knee will help your balance. Slow on the exhale, breathing in and out through the nostrils. Do one more each side, breathing in, lift that knee really high, lift up the fingers to the ceiling, lowering down slowly, making sure you're not gripping with those toes that are on the ground. It's very tempting, I know. Breathing in all the way up now on the right. Reach up and breathing out, lowering down slowly, slowly, and land. Good. Let's just uh, come into a Tai Chi twist. So 
feet are a good distance apart, maybe a shoulder width, knees are nice and bendy. We just twist the body centrally, bending the knees, let everything be very loose. We're loosening everything up. We're twisting on our central axis, the arms are heavy, backs of the hands may well smack into the lower back. Let that happen a little bit. Yeah, good for just uh, loosening, letting the energy move around. And let's just take the back of the hands just to stay with that theme. Come on the lower back here with the back of the hands there. Get this whole area. Whoa, that's better. And then also taking the knuckles, the lower back, and just rubbing the lower back there. Getting the energy to rise up. And it just because it feels good. Good. So now we're a bit more balanced, a bit more opened up. We're going to come into the goddess. We've done the lion, so we're kind of doing this again, but it's a slightly different version. So more roaring. This feels like a goddess time, those powerful midsummer we're just coming into, well, just been through. So feet are nice and wide, feet are out at, a, at an angle, checking the angle by bending the knees. So just adjusting the angles so the knees and toes are pointing in the same direction. And let's just bring the hands to the heart center. Let's just do a few of these ups and downs. So as you're doing this, really be conscious that you're keeping your tummy strong and your tailbone on the base of the spine is wanting to reach the ground, not push backwards. You're not pushing the bottom back. Good. Keeping the spine upright. Head on top of the body. Chin slightly tucked in, back of the neck is long. Breathing in, breathing out, pushing up through the feet. Breathing in, breathing out. Good. So now we're going to come into this goddess. So breathing in, lift the arms up, look up. And on the out breath, <sighs> cactus arms, bent knees. Again, same with that line, but it's a goddess. Same thing, <sighs> grasping sound, good. Can you handle two of these in one session? <sighs> Good. Fingers really wide, really, uh, it's just transformation, change, breathing in. <sighs> Let's do one more of these, breathing in. <sighs> Good, and bring the feet together, give the legs a shake. We're gonna, uh, into a short sun salute, just a few of these, half sun salutes rather. So feet, check them again. Connection to the ground. Lift the toes, place them down. Lift the heels, place them down. So the feet are holding onto the earth, they're not gripping. Bring the hands to the heart center, soften the knees. Lift the chest, shoulders back, head on top of the body. Breathing in and breathe out. Now we're going to lift the arms up on the exhale, drop the hands down, lifting them up on the inhale, bring the hands together above the head, palms together, turn the palms, as you breathe out your hands are coming down, your knees are bent, fingertips come to the ground, look at the ground, breathing in, straighten the legs, straighten the arms, straighten the back, hands are just below the knee here, and breathing out, forward bend, the straight legs, look at the big toes, bend the knees a lot, now lift, lift the gaze, breathing in, lift the arms, lift the eyes stretch up, uh, straighten up through the legs. Breathe out, lower the arms down. Breathing in all the way up. Extend, look up. Breathing out, the chest is coming forwards. Lots of emphasis on this chest, on the heart center today. Breathing in, look forward, straight arms back, legs, forward bend, looking at the ground, straight legs. So we're getting those hamstrings going. Lift the eyes, lift the hands, inhaling all the way up, exhaling, arms come down. Focus mostly on your breath. Let it carry you. Let it be the leader. Breathing in, breathing out. Bent knees, fingertips come to the ground. Inhaling, straighten the legs, arms back. Breathing out, forward bend. Last one, bend the knees a lot. Now lift the eyes, lift the hands. Inhale strongly. Exhale softly. Hands come back down. Last one, breathing in all the way up. Breathing out, taking that chest forwards, fingertips come to the ground. Breathing in, look forwards. Breathing out, forward bend. Hands come down. Let's just stay in this forward bend for a moment. Good. Try and get the weight into the front of the foot, into the toes and the ball of the foot rather than the heel. See how that feels? And imagine your chest is wanting to come down to the toes and the base of the spine is going the opposite direction up to the ceiling. So look at this dynamic. Think about that dynamic. It's much more interesting. 
than just, you know, bringing your head to your knees. Breathe deeply. Good. So we're going to just come up on the fingertips once more. Look forward, just put the weight onto the left foot. We're going to step back a big step with the right. So you might need to adjust a little bit to get that big step. We'll take a couple of steps because you want to have your chest on your uh, thigh, front thigh, and the hands either side of your foot, and that back leg is extended up. So, so your back leg is an extension of your spine. If you need to bring that right knee to the ground, you can do so. See if you can make that strong. Good. Bring that right knee to the ground. Come up onto a kneeling position. Breathe in again. This is going to really involve the chest. Breathing in, lifting the arms together. And breathing out, the groin is coming forward, the chest is coming open, and the arms are going back. So as the groin goes forward, the arms go back. Very much of a lovely front opening or back bend here. Now bring the hands to the ground, either side of the foot. Take the, uh, lift the right knee off the ground. I'm going to send that left foot back into its back. Good, see how that feels. Breathe. Make your body strong. Soften the elbows. Feel the strength in your arms. Now we're going to come down to the ground, so you can either bring your knees down, or you stay, just come to the ground, or you can come by lowering yourself down, rest on the side of the head, extend the arms back, just enjoy that, now breathe in, and breathe out, how does your body feel, where is the energy in your body, what needs to be released, where is it stuck, where is it sluggish, where is it numb, where, how are you feeling? What does the body want and need? Just breathe into this whole body. So just try with a back bend here. Simple back bend. Bring the legs together, bring the forward to the ground. So on the inhale, you're going to lift the eyes, nose, chin, chest. Then you're going to start to lift the arms away from the ground. And also they're going to extend back. The fingertips want to go back. Breathe out. Now the ex in breath, lift the legs off the ground. So as much of a body off the ground as possible. It's like you're flying through the air. Keep lifting the arms, keep opening the chest. Opening the front of that shoulder. How good that feels. One more breath in and lower down slowly as you can. Coming back down to the earth and turning your head to the other side. Giving the neck a bit of space there. Breathe in and in and out. So now you're going to bring the hands up to uh, underneath your shoulders so you can push into the hands, walk the hands back, sit back into the heels. Yeah, into the pose of the swan, bring them forward to the ground. Sometimes this is called extended child, which is okay too. Like this image of the swan, this beautiful, graceful creature. Powerful symbol. Good. Okay, so we're going to do the other side now. So first of all, extend the arms out in front of you. They're not there already. Come up onto all fours. We're going to come by a downward dog. So tuck the toes under, lift the knees off the ground, come into downward dog. How does this feel this time, second time around? Good. Now look towards the hands. Lift your gaze. And this time put the weight onto the left hand and left foot so that you can step forward with the right. Doesn't matter if it takes a couple of steps, that's okay. As long as you end up in this position, roughly. So we've got a lunge on this side now. Put the left foot back instead and the right foot forward. Pushing back to that left heel, strong back leg. Good, now let it fall to the ground, knee comes to the ground, coming up onto the knee, the left knee. If you need to have that toe tucked under, that's okay. But if you can, if that's okay for you, have the foot flat. Breathing in, lift the arms up, above the head, palms together. Arms are going back, don't forget. So as you inhale, have a feeling of that. And as you exhale, the groin comes forwards and the arms go back at the same time. Breathe deeply. Breathe deeply. Open the chest. Now bring the hands down to the ground once more. Lift that left, tuck the toe under on the left foot. Lift the heel off the ground. We're going to step forward now with the left foot. Kick step forward. Be back in this forward bend. Let's just bring the bottom to the ground. Catch yourself, extend the legs out in front, yeah, bounce the knees up and down. 
before we lay the body back. So see how you feel and feel, extend the fingers towards the toes, slowly lay back, keep your attention on your breath, it's moving the whole time. Energy needs to move, breath needs to move, give it some flow. Pay attention, the main thing about the breath is pay attention to it every now and again. See how my breath is. Once you're down, how, how does that feel? A lot better. <laughs> feel your body on the ground. Bend the left knee, bend the right knee and hug them. So giving the lower back a little treat, rocking and rolling. Maybe side to side, you can experiment with how much you want to rock. You might want to do a very big rock. You might want to just do small movements, whatever feels good for you. Experiment. As I say, be interested and curious in your body. So let's just see how this is, putting the feet on the ground. Let's just slide the legs away, give ourselves a full extension, see how that feels. Pointing the toes, extending them away from the fingertips, extending the fingers up the other direction away from the toes. Keep the back of the neck long on the ground. Now let's just bend the knees again, hug them. This is in the opposite direction. Let's just feel that difference, making yourself very small. Then placing the soles of the feet on the ground. I'm going to come up into a bridge, a moving bridge. Just stay with that theme of moving. Energy needs to move, become balanced. We can find that balance. This is a, you know, energy balance. It's a big theme for the moment with, um, you know, where we are in the year, halfway through this pivotal point, this high point of your life as well. Feet are close to the buttocks. Space between the feet, parallel, arms flat down. As you breathe in, you're going to lift bottom off the ground, open up the front, lift the hips, keep those knees level, don't let them splay out. As you breathe out, you're going to roll the spine down, keep the chin tucked in tightly. It's like the chin wants to tuck, wants to touch the chest. And breathing in, lifting the hips high, knees going away from you. As you breathe out, rolling down from the top of the spine, down through the vertebrae, feel the back land on the ground. As you breathe in, you can also lift your arms up if you want to. Some people prefer this. It feels really nice sometimes to feel much more open, extended. And breathing out, try to match the movement of the arms to the back. So your arms have to move a bit faster. This is also good for your mind, for your focus, for your coordination. So it's not able to run away and do what it wants to do because it's got a job of staying focused on keeping this evenness. So just as the back reaches the ground, the hands reach the ground. They're staying steady, the uh, speed of this is staying steady and even, breathing in. Last one, breathing out, bringing the hands back down. Feet together. Hug the knees once more, rock and roll. Let's take the hands behind the knees actually, so we can just rock along the length of the spine. Have a little rock back and forth a few times. Yeah, and then rock up to seated if that feels okay. So before we have a relaxation, we're going to come into a breathing practice. A hot, expanding breath. I'm going to get a cushion. Why not? Why not be comfortable? <laughs> what I say. So, how is the heart now? How hopefully there's some movement happens. We've had a lot of focus on this heart space on the, um, the chest area. So this is a lovely, simple heart breath. So take, you might want to put your hands to your heart just to really feel that, just to begin. And breathe into this area, just to take your attention. Great also to close your eyes. So making sure you're sitting up nice and tall, cross-legged or kneeling, sitting on a cushion. Good. Good. And you can let your hands either drop, or if you want to keep contact physically, you can. Better if you close your eyes so you can actually really imagine, feel and visualise because there will be a visual feeling sensory element to this heart breath. So now we've located that space right in the centre of the body there, in the centre of the chest. We're breathing into it. Feel the spaciousness around your heart centre. And now we're going to actively expand this in every dimension. So first of all, Keeping your focus on that heart centre. Think about making that heart grow taller, so vertically. So as you inhale, feel that heart is getting really tall, really 
long, vertically long. And as you breathe out, it's still maintaining some that length, but it's just softening. Every inhale, it's getting taller and longer. And you exhale, just softening a little bit. Follow the breath. Getting taller and longer as you inhale, and softening as you exhale. So now we're going to come into the horizontal zone. So imagine as you breathe in, you're expanding your heart sideways, horizontally with the horizon. Imagine that heart is getting really wide, like a big wide smile, breathing in. You might want to smile as you do this. It does make a difference, so try it. And if you like it, continue with it. And as you breathe out, it's still staying wide, but it's just softening a little bit. So stay with this visual, this feeling of widening the heart as you breathe in, softening slightly as you breathe out. We're expanding, we're creating space in the body. Expansion and contraction. Now the last dimension, the third dimension, is deepening the heart. So we're going from the front to the back. So feel that you're, as you breathe in, you're expanding from the front to the back of the body and beyond in the heart space. And as you breathe out, you're softening. Breathing in and breathing out, keeping the breath in and out through the nostrils. So just really expanding and feeling the expansion, how much the breath can create space. Emptying, emptying, softening, softening. Inhaling, expanding, deepening, deepening the heart. Good. One more time. And then just feel now your breath is still expanding the whole heart space, but it's going beyond the body. Keeping the, keeping the eyes closed. Just feeling the whole heart space expanding. So now you can just take the choice of just staying with this, but keeping it maybe softer just to stay with that or the seated position, or you can just lie your body back on the mat. Soften your breath. And just allow that whole spaciousness to soften into the whole body and feel the spaciousness going into the whole body. Beyond the body, so the space expands beyond the body. But soften the breath, whatever you're doing, lying or seated. Giving yourself some time just to relax. Closing and feeling, sensing how you feel now at the end of the session. How does my body feel? How does my energy feel? How is the movement of my breath? And giving ourselves some time. coming in and breath going out. Just allow yourself space to the breath. Feeling the ground also. This beautiful expanded heart space. Maybe you're in this whole heart space, your whole body now. And there's a color that goes with that. Traditionally, it's the heart chakra colors are pink or green, soft, soft light green, soft pink. So you can choose whatever color feels good for you to envelop yourself in. You're in, in the heart space. And you can drop into this space or feel yourself surrounded by the space anytime you choose. So just reminding yourself and familiarizing yourself with this space. Okay. So let yourself now come back to present or you can remain relaxed if it feels like a good time of day to do that. Uh, otherwise just give yourself a full stretch on the ground, 
or seated, however you find yourself, move the hands, move the fingers, move the toes, move the body, deepen your breath. Ah, oh, yeah, how does it feel now? How does your energy feel? How does the heart feel? How does, how do you feel? Yeah, let me know how you feel. Come up to seated now. It's always good to acknowledge how you have had an impact on your body, how the practice has impacted on you. Let's just feel ourselves, feel our edges, feel our edges. This is where we interface with the world and everything. It can be as permeable as we wish, so. Yeah, feel, be grateful for this body, for this breath. Rub the palms together vigorously. And let's just take a quick moment just to finish and close, placing the hands over the heart center again. Wow, does this feel different now? Close the eyes. And then this very expanded, beautiful, rich, fertile, expansive space. Bring to mind your Sankalpa, your loving thought, your prayer, your intention. Phrase or sentence that you create yourself. Say it to yourself and allow it to go deep into the heart centre. Give it a smile. Yeah. Namaste. Thank you so much for your practice. Thank you so much for being here with me. I appreciate you, really. I'm very grateful. And um, please share with your friends who may well benefit, and your families, and anybody you know. Um, send them my way. <laughs> Always room for more. And thank you for all your donations. That really helps me to keep going. This is, you know, my 15th week, I think. Okay. So enjoy, have a great day, and um, 